is Tom Margusio, and my wife, Ellie, and I are the owners of Designs by Margusio. I started Designs by Margusio in 2003 as a part-time custom cabinet shop. But now all my time is devoted to turning bobbins, stuffing bolster pillows, making bolster pillow stands, and other lace products. You can visit our website at www.designsbymargusia.com to see all the products we have. We carry a wide range of threads for your Idria lace projects, including number 30 Idria cotton thread. It is a high quality three ply cotton thread with a Z twist. The thread has a natural stiffness to it and holds up well to washing. Idria thread is also used by several other lace teachers for their lace specialties, including Carolyn Wetzel, in some of her needle lace projects, and Elizabeth Peterson in some of her Bedfordshire projects. Ellie has found that lace made with this thread does not need to be starched. We carry 42 colors. We carry nine metallic colors. This is a color chart of all the color and metallic threads we carry. It is available for download from our website. We have large 600 meter spools of number 30 cotton Idria thread in white, acru, and beige. They sell for $14 each. We also carry number 40 cotton Idria thread in white and acru. And we also carry Gold's Child number 60 linen thread in white and acru. Ellie's instructional video titled An Introduction to Idria Narrow Tape Techniques is also available for sale on our website. It is four and a half hours in length and includes three original patterns, a skills pattern, and instruction sheets. Hello, my name is Allie Margusio and I will be your instructor for this video. I fell in love with Idria Lace at a young age. My paternal grandparents were both born in what is now known as the Idria Lace region of Slovenia. Generations of women in my family, including my great-grandmother Maria, made lace to supplement the family income. I would watch her for hours and knew that I had to learn how to do this someday. Years later, when my son went off to college, I started my own lace journey by learning torsion and other laces from various teachers in the Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania area. Idria lace is a non-continuous lace characterized by tapes, which meander throughout a compact design and are connected by sewings. Traditionally made on a bolster pillow placed in a small basket, but just as easily made on a cookie pillow, most pieces require five to seven pair of bobbins. The bobbins are large and can be held in the hand and are able to accommodate a large amount of thread. There are two types of Idria lace, broad tape and narrow tape. Before 1920, lace made in the Idria region was a broad tape worked with linen thread. After World War I, the Idria lace region came under Italian occupation and the popular narrow tape which is worked using cotton thread, was introduced. You will be learning the basics of the narrow tape in this video. At our customer's request, we recently started carrying three skills books published by the Idria Lace School. The first book is titled Idria Lace, narrow cloth stitch. It covers the basics of Idria narrow tape lace and is a great book for beginners to Idria lace. The second book is Idria lace, Idria narrow tape lace and double stitch. This book also includes practice skills patterns and patterns for narrow cloth stitch, foot side edge, double vein edging and double stitch. The book builds on skills learned in book one. 
The third book is titled Idria Lace, Half Stitch in Idria Narrow Tape Lace. It includes practice skill patterns and patterns for half stitch. This book builds on skills learned in books one and two. How about we take a tour of my shop? We'll go in and see the lady that I use to make all my bobbins on. Let's take a walk in. Hi, my name is Tom Argusio, and I'm going to demonstrate how I make an Idria bobbin that is used to make Idria lace from the country of Slovenia. My bobbins are all hand turned and known for their smooth and satiny finish. The largest and most popular bobbin is the Idria bobbin and is used on a bolster pillow. I turn them from cherry, hickory, and walnut woods native to Pennsylvania. The next largest bobbin is Cantu. My Cantu bobbins are based on bobbins that were sent to me by Betty Manfrey, who teaches Cantu lace. The woods, the woods I use for these bobbins are cherry and walnut. My Dutch and bench bobbins are turned from exotic hardwoods because of their small diameter. My bench bobbins are very popular and I advise customers to special order them because I do not often have them in stock. Bolster pillow is used in making Idria lace and other Eastern European laces. The pillow we make is based on those used in Slovenia. Our pillows consist of a tube sewn from a heavy cotton and polyester fabric. Before the pillow end is closed, a one inch dowel rod is pounded down into the center to help keep the pillow stiff. After the pillow is stuffed, Ellie sews an outer cover made from 100% cotton quilting fabric. The tabletop box holds the bolster pillow. I typically use cherry and other woods I have on, have on hand in my shop. The adjustable stand I designed allows the lace maker to have the bolster pillow at the correct working height for them. These are cover cloths that come from the Idria Lace School. They have an Idria Lace design screen printed on them and measure 19 inches by 19 inches. There are four color choices. The pins we carry are sold by the Idria Lay School and measure 0.6 by 30 millimeter in length. There are approximately 700 pins per box, and yes, I counted them. They sell for $10.50 each. We also carry two styles of crochet hook. The standard 0.6 crochet hook with a blue plastic handle is sold for $6.50. I designed a wooden handle that looks like the Idria bobbin. It has a 0.6 crochet hook on the end. They come in cherry, hickory, or walnut and sell for $15 each. I really want to thank all the lace makers who buy and use and recommend our products. I'm offering a 10% discount on all sales during Uncon. Please make a note to visit me during my trunk show on July 28th at 1.45 Pacific time. Thank you.